Here's the first theorem in graph theory. This is like kindergarten. If you have a graph and you let Q be the number of edges in the graph, then if you add up the degrees in the graph, you get twice the number of edges. Now, I'm going to explain that in a moment, but I want to verify it first. So I'm going to divide the class right down the middle. And if you're on this side of the room, your job is to count the number of edges in that picture. Okay. If you're on this side of the room, you are supposed to add up 12 numbers. Those 12 numbers are the degrees. Okay, begin work. This side, adding degrees. This side, counting edges. So over here, I need a volunteer. Does anybody have an answer yet? 16? I hear 16. Any arguments on 16? Suppose, huh? 18. Ah. I had two 16s. So do we decide this by a majority rule or 16? 16? Real easy to make a mistake. Um, I've seen many students, if they're given a hard copy uh, test, what they do is they, is they mark the edge. They say one, two, three. But inevitably, if the graph has you know, 30, 40 edges, they'll mark the same edge twice, maybe three times, and, and not mark others at all. So it's real easy to... To, to make a mistake. Okay, so but it seems like majority is, is honing in on 16. Okay, what? Any, anybody over here got an answer? You better get, if, <laughs> if you've been paying attention and you don't get 32, then you're disputing the answer over here. But hopefully you did get 32. Okay? Now, why? Why is it twice? Why is it true that the sum of the degrees is twice the number of edges? Because here's an edge. When I'm here, looking this way, I'm counting that edge in the degree of this vertex. But when I go down here to the other end, and I'm counting the degree of this vertex, I'm looking at that same edge, so I count it twice. It's a trivial explanation. 